Good morning, Larry. Thank you very much for coming along. We're just on the upriver side of the Rock Village Bridge right now. Okay. The bridge crew has notified me on the radio that they get the traffic stopped. And there's a crew now turning the capstan and they're opening the bridge. And for some strange reason, even with this bad weather, there's a waiting line to get under. There's a sailboat, a tuna oh, yeah. boat, ourself, and a boat behind us. And there's a real flood tide behind us because of all the rain we had. So we really got to make sure that bridge is open before we get down there to get a clear shot to go right through with steerage. Ah. Uh, because we are 24 feet wide. So you have to have a certain speed to go under the bridge? The more speed you have, the more maneuverable the boat is ah. with the rudder. Um, but now you can see that it is opening. You can see the men walking around and around. Okay. Round in circles. Right. So we're going to get right in line here. In the olden days, the Rocks Village Bridge was covered. It was a covered bridge, and it was a toll bridge. In the olden days, they liked covered bridges because it was hoss and team, and the hosses couldn't see the water or they'd panic and not go across. So that's actually the new Rocks Village Bridge. Actually, what we're doing right now is we're heading to Newburyport, to the Newburyport Harbor Mariner, uh -huh. located at the end of the boardwalk in the downtown section of Newburyport. in the river years ago was the end of the shipping. Three masted schooners would come up river and there was wharfs along the river here. They couldn't go any farther because there was all rocks in the channel to Haverhill. So what they did, the schooners that tied up there, they had booms joints and all that. This was a tough place. Yeah. For the sailors, you know, off those ships. Now, they wanted to dig a channel all the way to Haverhill so the boat could go to Haverhill, the lumber schooners from Nova Scotia. All right, Tim, uh, tell me about the boat and how you acquired it. This boat was built, and it says right here on the ship's wheel, Blount Marine Corporation. Luther Blount is a real good friend of my father. They've been friends for over 60 years. Luther Blount is in Warren, Rhode Island, and he's built over 750 ships. Cruise ships, all types of boats. This particular boat was built in 1953. It replaced the steam fleet that they had at Casco Bay Line. That's in Portland Harbor. There was the Sabino, the Tourist, and two other boats. But in 1952, the Coast Guard told the Casco Bay Lines that they couldn't use the steam vessels any longer. They, were, uh, they needed a lot of work, and they were dirty, and etc. So they went to Mr. Blount down in Warren, Rhode Island, and they said they needed five boats. And they wanted them to look just like the old steam fleet. So he built five boats for them, and this particular boat was called the Aka Cisco II. The original Aka Cisco was around Portland Harbor. This is number two. Where does the river start? The river starts in the White Mountains at the Crawford Notch, a little stream right. up there. Then it runs into the Pemigewasset River in Plymouth, New Hampshire, and it runs down to the Merrimack River at Lake Winnipesaukee. And then it leaves there, and it comes all the way down to the mouth of the river, which is from Winnipesaukee down, is 96 miles of river. And that's where she runs, the Pemigewasset River. And that's where all the big floods start in spring freshets. 
up there in the Pemigawasset. It runs down to the Merrimack. Now, this river down here, it's all Mosley's estate over here. See all them trees over there? He's got 180 acres, Mosley. Old man Mosley, come up from New York on a stagecoach. And he's crossing the river to go up in the main to start to build an estate. He says, why should I go way up to Maine? This is more beautiful here than any place in Maine. So old man Mosley, he brought his steam yacht, 190 footer, and anchored it right off of here. And he had a crew on board with coal and wood to go any place in the country. Because he was a railroad tycoon. In the old days, the railroads were the thing. And they called it Mosley's Woods at Maudsley's Woods. Maudsley was an estate he had in England, Maudsley. But his name was Mosley. So it's Mosley's estate on Maudsley's Woods over here. Now, it's a state reservation. So anybody can go out there and have a picnic or a good time or watch this boat go by and wave to the people. So we have a good time down here. Exactly. And we're going to have a stove put on the boat, a shipmate stove that burns coal and wood. And why we want that? The smoke will go up the smokestack and it'll look like a bay steamer. And in the oven of the stove, we baked potatoes. All right. Baked potatoes with butter. You can't beat them. But on top of the <laughs> stove, we put some hot dogs after they're steamed. And also, this nice Italian bread we put on there and toast it right on the stove. So it's good with butter. So we have a good time on the old boat heading up and down the river. And the people love it. They come from all over the country, Detroit, Michigan, everywhere. That building with the smokestack, that's the Merrimack Hat Company, 1908. The Merrimack Hat Corporation in Angsbury, Mass. Now, people don't wear the hats no more. Soft hats. Soft hats, yep. so they went out of Like business. Elliot Nest. Everybody wore a hat. If you didn't, there was something wrong with you. That's right. In a lot of the Hollywood hats, movie hats, gangster hats, they all come from Merrimack Hat Company, right there. Right over here. Yep. Yep. You're, you're perfectly right. In the old days, the Grand Banks fishermen, all their dories were built here. Old boat shop. And the Coast Guard in Alaska, where I was in the Bering Sea up there, I saw a skiff. 20 foot skiff. I looked at the name on the skiff in Alaska and it said Lowell's Boat Shop, Angry Bass. That was there in the 1800s. Now it's a government subsidy. The government puts the money to keep it going. Al Cap used to live right over here. He wrote the comic Little Abner. Yep. And that was his little lighthouse right there. He was a friend of mine. Now, yeah, there's so Bailey's Lighthouse. See the little lighthouse on the rock right here? Uh -huh. Oh, yeah. yeah Bailey put that there. We're going under the Route 95 bridge right now. This is the most beautiful part of the whole river, Deer Island. And you'll see after we get under Route 95 bridge down here is the old chain bridge. And then there's an island, Deer Island, and it goes across to the Essex Merrimack Bridge into Ainsbury. Timmy, this is what they call the Bay of Seven Islands, right down here. 